Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is this really dramatic, smoky glam. I'm going out tonight to a, a Route 94 event, so I wanted to wear something smoky and dark and like really glam. So this is what I came up with. This is obviously very different to my last video. My last video was so natural, like everyday glam. And then this is just literally straight into black smoky eye. So this would be perfect for like going out to a nightclub, like it's really dramatic and glam. I definitely wouldn't wear this to like an event or something like that. I'd probably tone it down a bit more. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also leave a comment down below of any other looks that you want me to do or like an in-depth like, contour and highlight routine or just any suggestions of what you want me to film. If you like this look, then keep on watching. One nail fell off, so ignore that. The rest of them are all still on, but I'm gonna get them done on Tuesday. I'm getting refills. And I'm gonna get them shorter, because I can look at the length of them. I look like a boy. I'm gonna transform into a girl, don't worry. So starting off as usual, I'm using my Mario Badescu rose water spray. And I pluck my brows um, just before I sat down. I do my brows myself. I used to get them waxed all the time. And I wouldn't go get them treaded. I heard it's so painful and honestly like I wouldn't be able to stick that. I'm gonna start out with brows because I like to carve underneath them and carve over them and I like them to be nice and dark and sharp before I'm going out. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. That's great, it's not focusing. And I'm using the Spectrum a17 brush. This is from the Mean Girls collection. Each of the Mean Girls brushes have a quote on them and this one says she's a life ruiner. <laughs> I think I'm going to do my brows off camera because I take ages. I just like to concentrate on them so I'll just um, come back when they're done. So I just finished my brows there. As you can tell this is my better eyebrow and this one isn't as good as that one so We'll just pretend about the same and move on. Let me know if you want like an in-depth tutorial on how I do my eyebrows, like how I fill them in properly. It just takes me ages. So now I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and then a flat brush. Ew, look at the difference. Look how like brown and veiny and red my eyelids are compared to this. There, I just carved out my eyebrow off camera, but you can see like it does make a difference to your eyebrow. It just kind of cleans it up. So now I'm just gonna do the same beauty eye. I don't even know like what makeup look I'm going for or what I'm gonna end up with. I just know that I want like kind of like a smoky eye. I'm wearing like black jeans and then like a snakeskin top. So I kind of want to do like a black smoky eye. I'm just gonna set my eyes with a light powder before I go in with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna start off with the black because it's the hardest to blend out. I'm using an Ingla eyeliner gel in 77 and then I'm gonna use some Geraline because this cracks and it gets really dry. This is gonna look crazy at the start but when it's blended it'll look fine. I'm using um, a Spectrum A16 brush. It's just a small flat shader brush. And then this brush says, boo you whore. <laughs> As you can see, look how bad it cracks. So start by packing the black all over your lid. Make sure you don't use a lot of gel line because it gets really wet and then the black just starts sliding everywhere. The good thing is about doing a black smoky eye is you don't need to worry about eyeliner because you won't be able to see it anyway. Okay, now it looks mad, but I'm just gonna do the other eye. Okay, now that I look like a literal psychopath, this dries really fast, so you kind of have to work quick. For the eyeshadows, I'm using the Morphe 352 palette. This is all like browns, oranges, gold and all. This is what it looks like here. Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with this dark brown here to try blend this out. It's called Muddy. It's gonna be way too hard blending it looking into the camera, so I'm just gonna use a little mirror. Make sure you put the eyeshadow like 50% on your lid and then 50% on the black just so it doesn't go too high because we're going to blend it into different colours as well. This takes ages to blend out but um, don't know what I was going to say there. 
So it should look something like this. Now you can see it's really harsh up here, but we're gonna blend that into like a lighter brown or an orange. I like doing my eyes before my face makeup because I get a lot of fallout and especially using dark colors of pigments. And I think I'm gonna use a pigment. So I always make sure I do my eyes and eyebrows before my face. I don't know if I should blend this into like an orange and then yellow or just like lighter browns. I think I'm gonna blend it into a lighter brown and then an orange. I'm gonna use this color here. It's called tan. Okay. <laughs> Dinner. This shade is actually more orange than I expected. So I think I'm just gonna blend it into like a lighter brown just to tone it down a bit. Literally just keep blending until your arm falls off. Okay, so I like how that looks. Um, I'm gonna go back in and put like a black over the lid to keep that uh, really pigmented. And then I'm gonna go back in with all the colors again, just to blend them even further. Okay, I'm gonna use the lightest brown in the palette. This is called Universal, just to blend out that other brown because it's very orangey. And I'm using the Inglot 6SS brush for this. I wasn't even in the mood to go out like a while ago because I just came home from work and like I was tired and just like the effort to do my makeup and go now. But I actually feel fine now, like I'm kind of excited to go out now. I just need some music and some pink gin and I'll be grand. I'm happy with how it's turning out though. Like it'll look better when I put lashes on and um, do the underneath and do my face and stuff. I had um, lash extensions in my last video but I ended up just pulling them all out because they just were like really sparse and they need to be done again. So I just ended up taking them all out. I'm using the shade Pure from the palette to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the same eyeliner that I used on the lid and then just put it in my waterline. I'm just gonna repeat the eyeshadow on the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna put some mascara on. I'm using the Inglot False Lash Effect Mascara. My nostrils are like tiny now with my extensions. I'm gonna put pigment all over the black. I got this new one during the week from Inglot. It looks like this. It's like a like a gunmetal grey kind of. It's number 49. That's, that's the colour it is. I'm going to pack like the tiniest amount of jawline all over my lid. Just so the pigment will stick to it. Ooh. It's not as glittery as I expected it to be, but it's so pretty. I'm just going back in with the dark brown colour to blend out the edges. Okay, so now going in with primer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. This primer helps smooth and fill in like all the pores. I have a lot of pores like around my nose area and um, my cheeks. So for foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC35. And then I'm just using a beauty blender to blend this in. It blends in so much better when it's wet. I only got this foundation recently and I'm obsessed with it. I can't believe I was so late getting it. Like everybody has this. I should really get a pump. <sighs> Make sure to put it down your neck as well. Now for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade 02 Nude. I'll go back over like the eyeshadow under her eyes because I'm after putting concealer on it. 
I think I'm gonna cream contour as well. So I'm using my uh, concealer as a highlight instead of using like cream highlight. I just think that the cream contour just makes it more dramatic. I'm gonna go back in with the beauty blender to blend all that out. I'm gonna do my cream contour now. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in l light. I'm just putting it on with a real technique, like flat brush. I'm gonna just blend this all in. I'm using the beauty blender and then I'll be back. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's all blended in. As you can see, it makes like a huge difference. I like much rather doing the cream contour when I'm going out. I kind of just like go back in every so often just fix it up with the beauty blender. But like this is even before powder. Before I set everything with powder, I'm gonna carve out the top of my eyebrows here. So I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And then I'm just using this like flat brush. Okay, then I'm gonna set my face with the Inglot powder. This is in the shade 66, I think, and then I'm just using a big fluffy brush. To be honest, I can't wait to start pre-drinking. <laughs> Everyone's gonna start coming over in a while. Um, they're all coming over soon. And then we're gonna start pre-drinking downstairs. I'm gonna bronze the face back up with the Inglot bronzer. This is smashed to bits. It smashed when I was going to a cheerleading competition and i don't know how it's like all still in there but this is in the shade haven't the clue oh my god for blush i'm using the sweet peach blusher i got this in pennies but it's so good with an angled blush brush. For highlight, I'm using the Doll Beauty Highlight in the shade Shine Bright. Another one of my nails literally just fell off like a second ago. Oh my God, I'm gonna glue back on before I glue. The lashes that I'm using are the So Su Holly Lashes. I'm just using some duo glue to stick these on. Say hi. Oh shit, that's recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so annoyed at these. These are like two different eyelashes. They're two different. I knew they weren't mine. And they don't even feel like mine. They look real long, to be honest. Okay, if you can hear music in the background, that's because my boyfriend's listening to your phone. Because I was too embarrassed to film in front of him. I'm actually going to put on the Paris lashes because the Holly ones, I don't even think they were mine. There was like two different lengths in the box, so they just weren't working. <laughs> I don't remember if I said it or not, but these are the Paris lashes from So Su. Okay, I'm gonna do my lips now. I'm using the MAC lip liner in the shade Stone. It's just like a dark brown. <music> For 
for a lipstick, I'm using the MAC lipstick in the shade Honey Love. This is just like a light nude. Because the eyes are so dark, you're definitely gonna need to go in with a nude. I'm just gonna set all that with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So that's the finished look. This is what I came up with. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I actually really like it. Everyone's actually waiting on me downstairs to pre-drink so we can go. We're gonna go into town soon. So yeah, I'm really excited for tonight. This is what I'm wearing. It's just like a snake skin top that I got in Bershka and then just black jeans or like these grey kind of acid wash jeans and then I just straightened my hair and put some hoops in. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Put a comment down below what you want me to do next. My Instagram and all will be in the description box. Thanks for watching. Bye! Ew! <laughs> no. For the eyes that... What? Oh, my back is killing me. <laughs> oh, I like it. 60 sinks. Sinks. I'm just using some, uh, some. Oh, hi. No, she's not. No, she's not. Yes, she is. Oh my God. They're just not mine. I'll get a new pair tomorrow. Can we go to the center tomorrow? Stop! Stop! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. <gasps> Look what you have to do, Win. I didn't know that was there. <sighs> what was it? Bronzer. I'm sorry. <laughs> How is that my fault? Yeah? Where did that even come from? You're after smushing that into the carpet now. That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you intentionally just went like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have it on the floor anyways? Because it dropped! Why is it loose? What do you mean why is it loose? Like, my bronze is broken and I dropped it on the floor and you have to oh, smush it into the carpet. It's not my fault. It's grand, I'll just get a new floor. It's fucking sick of me. What do you mean sick of it is? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> now look! <laughs> right, can you go down and say while I film this part? I went to that one and then... No. I won't have to hear you. No. I'm not going downstairs, I'm sorry. Please! Uh, I can't film it with you sitting there, please. Yeah. Because you just make me laugh. Oh, make me laugh. You will make me laugh. All the YouTubers' boyfriends will be sitting in the corner. No, they don't! They do. They put that girl watching. You literally just made that up. Put your phone here so I know you can even pause it. And face face the wall. Where's the lipstick on? Will you get shit ready? It's here! <laughs> here! <laughs> Where are you sound? <laughs> what are you doing? What, leave it up? over there. No, leave it there. And face that way. <laughs> um. Hey, put it back on! Let me see the other one. Put your hands out like that. Put your hands out like that. No, get out. I'm filming an intro. What did you want? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Can't remember what I was saying.